Hey everyone, welcome back to Traveling Expats. Today, we're taking you on an epic adventure through one of the most rugged and beautiful national parks in the United States, North Cascades National Park. We'll be stopping at some jaw-dropping spots, starting with the breathtaking views from Washington Pass, then exploring the turquoise waters of Diablo Lake, and wrapping up with an incredible hike to the stunning Blue Lake. So grab your hiking boots and let's dive into the wild beauty of the North Cascades. You won't want to miss this one. Welcome to uh, Washington and the North Cascades National Park here in the beautiful North Cascades mountain range in Washington. And uh, we are at the Washington Pass Overlook and it is a little chilly. It's August and it's about 41 degrees and it's actually trying to snow, 41 degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah, a little cool here. A um, little cloudy right now, a little overcast, so the uh, visibility isn't stunning and isn't, isn't the best, but it's still very beautiful, absolutely gorgeous place here in the North Cascades, which um, are also known as the Alps of North America. All right, so I'm on this little trail. It's a nice little paved trail. It's about, um, you know, less than a quarter mile. You have to walk from the parking lot, which is right off of um, Highway 20, scenic Highway 20 that runs through the Cascade Mountains, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Very, very beautiful. Welcome to Diablo Lake, or to the Diablo Lake Overlook here in North Cascades National Park. The North, North Cascades National Park Complex, they call it. It's a little, little confusing, the terminology, but um, so this lake, this beautiful, stunning green lake behind me, uh, Lake Diablo, was created when they dammed the Skagit River and the early 20th century, I don't know exactly the, the year, but it was the early part of the 20th century, well before this was actually um, made into a, um, a, a national park. Um, and so they dammed, um, they dammed the Skagit River. There's actually a couple places the Skagit River is dammed. And, and so at this point, it makes this lake called Lake Diablo, which is absolutely beautiful. And the electricity that is created from the dam goes to power the city of Seattle. So there you have it. And if you're driving on uh, beautiful uh, Washington Highway 20, you cannot miss a stop at Diablo Lake. Even right now, um, it's honestly, it's not a very nice uh, time of day and the light is really harsh, but still it's, it's very beautiful and, and definitely worth a stop here at Diablo Lake. All right, getting ready to make a little breakfast. Got some biscuits and gravy dehydrated. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, there's the inside of my biscuits and gravy before I add the the water. It's going to be better than that. This is going to be so delicious. I can't wait. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes since I added the boiling water. We saw what it looked like before. And now let's see what these delicious biscuits and gravy look like now. Mm, oh boy, I should have, so pro tip, and which I knew and I forgot, I should have crunched up the biscuits before I added the water and, and I've done this before and that makes it a lot better, but I didn't do it today, I forgot. Um, so anyway, look at that, all that delicious sausage in there, delicious biscuits, I tell you what, if, um, let, me, let me have a bite here, look at that. Mm. Mm -mm. Ma'am, I've eaten biscuits and gravy all my life. And if you ever told me I could get biscuits this good and gravy this good out of a bag, I would have said you're crazy, but this is good stuff. So if you're out camping, need some dehydrated food, if you like biscuits and gravy, pick up a bag. I think it's from, what's the company? Peak. Peak. And I think they're out of Utah. So breakfast to champions. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we are hiking the Blue Lake Trail here in North K Cascades National Park. And it's uh, supposed to be about four and a half miles round trip. Two miles, a little over two miles to the lake with about a thousand feet elevation gain. So we'll be going up on the way there and down on the way back. It's supposed to be stunningly beautiful. Super excited to go see it. Um, seen pictures it looks absolutely stunning so we'll see when we get there we've got a bear spray in case you see any bear and uh supposedly you see a lot of uh mountain goats on this trail so that'll be exciting we'll see if we see any of those but uh yeah thanks for coming along and should be a great hike let's go One other thing I was gonna say is that um, it's about 37 degrees. It's late August. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. And the um, parking lot is already almost full. So this is a very popular hike. So if you wanna do it, especially in the busy seasons, um, you need to get here early or else you might not find a place to park your car. And to continue on with the uh, parking situation and starting early, um, there's probably, I would guess, maybe 30 parking spots in the parking lot. And several people you could tell had camped out overnight. There were some camper vans there and some pop-up tents and pickup trucks. So yeah, some people will camp overnight just to get a early start on this trail. So yeah just something you have to watch out for now we're not we're a few days pretty close to the labor day weekend not quite the labor day weekend yet so probably more people here than there would be on a normal middle of the week in august but anyway it's still very busy so you need to plan that accordingly if you want to do this hike okay so we are getting close to a mile and a half into the trail and most of it has been under a lot of tree cover. It's been very shady. So on a hot day, it would be really nice because you're covered in shade, at least for most of the hike that we've done so far. On a day like today, when it's cool outside, it's a, it's a little cool, but it's still okay. When you start going up these hills, your heart rate goes up. But yeah, so a lot of a lot of trees here, as you can see. And you can see the mountains peeking through the trees back there. Alright, beautiful day in the North Cascades. Okay, so we're about um, I don't know, about an eighth of a mile, point eight into our hike and we opened up into this little opening and got this beautiful view of the mountains i believe they call that liberty bell peak but uh or maybe i'm maybe i'm wrong about that but anyway it's pretty nonetheless whatever it is okay the sign behind me says no camping within a quarter of a mile of Blue Lake. So there you go. You cannot camp at the lake. And right now I'm about a, about a quarter of a mile away. And I would say it's been a very nice hike. Um, very shady, lots of uh, uh, ca canopy coverage. Uh, but then when you get a clear spot, it's really pretty. The sun is out and it just looks like it's gonna be a fantastic day here at Blue Lake. All right, so let's get this last quarter of a mile out of the way and we'll go look at the lake. Okay, so this is the beautiful Blue Lake, which we hiked up to a little over two miles to get here. Pretty steep uh, incline, but uh, nothing 
undoable. I would think most people, if you are in reasonably good shape, you'd be able to, to make it up here. And I, I would, you know, kids probably up to 10 years old could make it up here as well. It's not that difficult, but it is really beautiful. The lake is stunningly aqua bluish um, in color. Uh, there's fish in there. We've seen a lot of fish swimming around and got these beautiful peaks behind us. And as you're hiking up, um, I guess you get around three quarters of the way up, uh, the trail is going to split and uh, one way goes to Blue Lake and the other way goes to the um, um, the climbers route. And I, I think they go up there and then and they're going to climb those peaks over there. And so when you get to Blue Lake, uh, you'll get up and you'll get down to the shore down below, which is which is it's really pretty. But don't miss there's an upper loop that comes up and I believe they call it the upper tire tire loop. And so come up and make sure you do that because the the, the views are, are much nicer up here. And you know, we're not we're not here at a very good time of day for our pictures. It's the sun's very bright and it's pretty harsh. But if you get up here, you can get some decent light and I think get some some nice pictures and some some good video. So welcome to Blue Lake. So if you walk around to the other side, you can come down here right to the uh, the bank of the lake, the shore of the lake, and get some really uh, nice views, um, kind of using the sunlight that we have. And so it gets nice views of these mountains. On this side, of course, that one's in the shade, but the water looks really nice. And even if you're not worried about taking pictures, it's a very nice place just to come sit and uh, look at the beautiful blue-green water. That's for sure. Definitely, it's not very far from the uh, trail, from the trail, which main trail, once you get to the, the lakes. It's definitely worth your time to just come, kind of come over here to the left, once you hit the lake, and yeah, just walk down here by the lake shore. It's really beautiful. Thanks for joining us on this amazing journey through North Cascades National Park. We hope you're feeling inspired to visit this incredible slice of nature. Before you go, be sure to check out our video on where to stay and eat when visiting the park. It's packed with tips to help you make the most of your trip. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an adventure with traveling expats. See you in the next one!